Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to use a graph paper. If you see here, we see a graph paper which we use to draw various kinds of graphs. You must have noticed when we draw a graph, then there are two lines which are perpendicular to each other. These two lines are called axes. The horizontal axis is called x axis and the vertical axis is called y axis. So x and y axis are labeled which means some values are assigned to them. If you see graph paper is made of small squares. So each square is a unit. When we go right by one square along x axis the value of x increases and Going left means value decreases, just as in case of a number line. And what about y-axis? On y-axis, if we go up along y-axis, the value of y increases. And if we go down, value of y decreases. See here, numbering, we start from 0 and as we go up on the y-axis, the value is increasing. So it means if we come down, say we are moving down, then the value decreases 12, 10, 8, 6 and so on while we are coming down. Now you must be thinking what is the value of y and what is the value of x? What happens when we go to a movie hall? When we look for a seat, in the cinema hall, we need to know the row number and the seat number. For example, you might be given the ticket number as E12 for seating. What does E12 mean? It means we first look for the row number and then for the seat number. So E12 means we first go to the row and look for row E. So here is row E. Next, we need to find in this row the correct seat number which is 12. So here it is. We go to seat number 12. Isn't it? So this is the way you find your seat number while sitting in a cinema hall. You know, same way, in order to locate a point on the graph paper, we do the same. We need to find its coordinates. Just like ticket consists of value of row and then the value of seat, same way coordinates of a point on the graph consist of y-axis and the value of x-axis on the graph. So say coordinate of a point is 7 and 4. What does it mean? It means value for x-axis is 7 and value for y axis is 4. So let's try to locate the point with coordinates 7 and 4. We start looking from the point where the two axes meet. Here x is 0 and y is 0. So we say its x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate is 0 and the point is 0 0. Now in the graph paper, each square is a unit, isn't it? But the value of unit isn't always the same. Here, we have marked the numbers as 1, 3, 5, 7. So, numbers are increasing by 1 for every square. So, for x is equal to 7, we go to 7 places along the x-axis. So we have found the x coordinate of this point. Now let's go on the y axis. As we know the value of y increases on the y axis if we go upwards. So we need to go to a point where the value of y is 4. So we go upwards 4 places as value of y is increasing by 1 for each square in this case. Look here, we have found the value of y which is 4 and 
this is the point we have located and how do we write the coordinates of this point we write it as 7 comma 4 as first we write the x coordinate then the y coordinate of any point we locate on the graph so now you know how to locate a point given the coordinates that is the x coordinate and the y coordinate of a point that's all for now bye bye children